So guys, last week I made a video on how to play Minecraft in VR because I was being harassed by someone. Well, guess what? It's happened again. So today I'm going to show you how to mod VR Minecraft. Axie edits, this one's for you. Now guys, if you haven't seen it already, make sure to go over and have a look at my how to play Minecraft in VR in 2024 video. And make sure you like and subscribe if this video has been helpful for you. On to the guide. All right guys, so first and foremost, we are gonna open up the Minecraft launcher and we can see our 1.19.2 installation, which you can see in a previous video, how to install Minecraft in VR. If we open up this folder, we can see that there is a mods folder just over here. And I have already installed Farmer's Delight, I'm going to delete it so that I can show you exactly how I did it. And that's going to be a mod which will work for Minecraft VR. So first and foremost, we're going to head over to curseforge.com, make sure that we have an account and we are logged in. I prefer legacy mode, so I've gone into legacy mode. I've selected Minecraft and as you can see from this menu, I've got mod packs, I've got customizations, add-ons, shaders, data packs. I've got everything I really need, but today we're going to select mods. Now from mods, I can choose a whole selection, but from the top, you can see popularity, which is what I want to select. And also you can select the game version. And this is very important because the game version needs to match the version of your Minecraft VR installation. So I've selected it to 1.19.2. So you can see they match. We're all good. So let's scroll down and let's have a look and see if we can find the mod that I installed earlier on today. And here it is, Farmer's Delight. Now, don't be tempted to just quickly push download because what it'll do is it'll download the latest version. What you actually need to do is select the name, go in, and here we are on the actual page. And on the page, you can see files. And under files, you can scroll down and you can search for our version. And our version is, as said before, 1.19.2. And that is the one we need to download. So push download file. Don't push download via Forge. Do it via file. Now, this is the latest version of Vivecraft at current. Here you can see I've downloaded it earlier. I'm just going to drag it to my desktop. We're going to use that file in a second. But if we head back over to the website, you can see that there is a whole selection of mods which I can choose from. The majority of these top ones are actually supportive mods. So they're mods which support other mods. That's why they're so popular. But if you look through them, you can find some really, really cool mods that work very well with VR. Now, make sure that you choose 1.19.2 or else the compatibility will most likely not work, in most cases at least. And then we're gonna head back over to our launcher. We're gonna go to our Vivecraft installation. We're gonna hit this folder button. And inside here, we're gonna select mods and we're gonna drag across Farmer's Delight. And that's the mod which we downloaded earlier and we are gonna give it a go. So I'm gonna connect my headset and I am gonna check it out in game just to see if it works. Now here we are in game and there is a little warning note and that's just to say that there are some experimental settings and that's because of the mod, but it's no problem at all. Just what I would recommend is to download and install a mod one by one and test them one by one. That way if one doesn't work or if there's a confliction, you can at least delete it and your game will not be destroyed. However, here we are and we are in the VR environment. As you can see, it is detected Vivecraft and we are ready to play. So let's test out the mod and I'm gonna push button L. And here it is, achievements or should I say advancements, and we've got husbandry, we've got a whole lot of sort of options here, but Farmer's Delight is just here on the right. And this mod in particular is quite cool. It just expands upon the cooking in the game and basically just adds a little bit more content and a little bit more to do. Now guys, that's basically it. Don't forget to choose the correct file version. And also remember that some of these mods do require dependencies, which are other mods which support the main mod. So do be careful and have a read when downloading. And as always guys, I hope this has been helpful. 
I'll see you in the next one.